So, I've gathered here today a list of teams that are not going to make the playoffs. I'm guaranteeing it. I'm writing it in stone. And I'm going to give them the award of your team will not make the playoffs award. For context, in the last full season in the NHL, 98 points made the playoffs in the East. 90 points made the playoffs in the West. We're going to split the difference okay. for the purpose of this exercise and say that 94 points okay. will get you in the playoffs. That's a huge discrepancy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 98 to 90. Happens. So, yeah, split the difference. 94-ish. Wow. Yeah. Now, the way I looked at it was I, I did all the maths here. And for every team where I don't think the math can math, I've, put, I've given you this award that you're not going to make the playoffs. So I'm going to run through this, the stats, and then you guys are the committee. And if they deserve the award, hand them the award. And the award is you're done. The award is, hey, try again next year. Okay. So it's got to be unanimous. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Else they do not get the Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Number one on the list, the Arizona Coyotes. They are currently 6-21-2. and two. Are they, they done? Have, <laughs> they have 14 points. Oh. <laughs> 32nd in the NHL, uh, 22 points out of a playoff spot. To make the playoffs at our 94-point pace, they'd have to go 38-15. and 15. We don't have to spend a lot of time here. Uh, their save percentage is an 888. That's 31st in the league. Uh, does the maths math here? Will the Arizona Coyotes make the playoffs? <sighs> I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Arizona. Arizona Coyotes guys are done. They've got a, they've got a better chance of getting a new arena. That's probably, that's fact. They currently don't have an arena for like the next two years. They would take that trade. <laughs> That'd be the best trade they've ever made. They got a better chance of knowing where they're going to play next year than they do of, uh, of making the playoffs. That's mean. You're mean. Who it's on the, the Arizona Coyotes, since they are receiving this award, their team is done, and we are sorry, Coyotes fans. Who on the team would you like to walk up and receive this award? Phil Kessel. I'm forcing mm -hmm. him to get up on, in front of people. Yeah, Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel, who mm -hmm. is third on their team in points with 17, five goals, 12 assists. Here's the award. Your team is done. Clayton Keller, by the way, uh, having a decent season. 22 points in 29 games. <laughs> Next up on the list, the Montreal Canadiens. They are 721 and three. That's 17 points, eighth. In the Atlantic, they are 16 points out of a playoff spot. Ooh. To make the playoffs, they must have a record equivalent to 40 and 11. <laughs> Could the Montreal Canadiens do that? Or do they receive our Your Team Has Done Award? Uh, they're, they, they're not going to make the playoffs. And Jeff Petrie has to accept the award so he can shit on the <laughs> entire coaching staff again publicly as he accepts it. Uh, vous avez terminé. <laughs> I have to look it up on my phone. Yeah. Okay. You are done. We're getting to a little more interesting and controversial. These are easy ones so far. The Seattle Kraken. They are currently 28th in the NHL. They have 23 points, 10, 17, and 3. They would have to go 36 and 16 to get that 94 points. Are they done? <laughs> They're done. I mean, expansion teams. You had a great run. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you're I, not supposed I, to be I, good. I honestly, I think Seattle, I think they missed a great opportunity to really make a competitive team this year. I, I, I know I don't, they weren't banking on Philip Grubauer being injured and not playing well, but like they could have been really good and still had a great future, but yeah. they intentionally sucked for no reason. I, I don't like, I really don't like the way they went about this. Even with the team they have, they should still be better than this. They cannot stop a beach ball. Which is the one thing I thought they'd be good at. Yeah. That would yeah. be the one. Yeah. They are uh, second worst in the league in goals against. Ooh. 107 goals against. And as to further Steve's point, they are last in the league in save percentage. 876 is the goaltending they are getting this year. The That's worst, awful. The worst trade in Seattle Kraken history. Uh, Vitek Vanacek for a second round pick. Yep. Why did they give him back for that pick? Because like, they thought they had their guys. Take the goalie. Well, and, you know, cap space was so important to them, but they signed Philip Grubauer as a free agent, and it's been awful. All right. Next up on the list, the Ottawa Senators. They currently have 20 points. 
They're thirtieth in the NHL. They're only Thir- up though. Thirteen games out of a playoff spot. Oh. To reach that ninety-four point threshold, they'd have to go thirty-eight and sixteen. Is there a world where the Ottawa Senators make the playoffs, or do they get our award for being done? Huh. I think you get one Andrew Hammond per generation, and they've already <laughs> they've already used theirs up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's their their toast. So far, nobody's disagreed with my no. list. Nope. Next up, New Jersey Devils. Oh, so underratedly bad. 25 points on the year. They're 10-5, 10-15-5. Coldest team in the league I saw yesterday. Yep. 1-8-1 and one in their last 10. They are, uh, for goals, they have 81 goals on the year, and they're uh, 101 goals against, which oh. is just like a couple goals behind Seattle, who's in last. Um, to oh. make the playoffs, they'd have to go 38-15. and 15. Is there any world where they reach that 94 My points? God. Or is the New Jersey Devils? Oh my god! Sadly, They're are done. they done? Done. Bye. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! All right. All right. Nobody's disagreeing. I think we're spending a lot of time on teams that have no fucking shot. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's that's the thing that I'm pointing out here. We have, I think, I have uh, four teams. From, what did I write this? <laughs> or five Come teams on. from the East here and two from the West. Like, there's a lot of teams who are done. Buffalo Sabers, thirty-eight and fifteen is what they'd have to go. They're currently. Also 10, 15, and 5. If New Jersey's done, Buffalo's the identical record. I assume they're done. Put them on the list. Congrats on being less as bad as we thought you would be. <laughs> You're done. Now, this is our first one that I think is up for debate. The Philadelphia Flyers are currently four points out of a playoff spot. But they are 12, 12, and 5. They're 500. They have 12 points. Mm-hmm. They'd have to go around 33 and 20. To reach 94 points. Because remember, 500 in the NHL is only 82 points. That's mm. not getting you there. Can Philadelphia play like 12 games above 500 for the rest of the season to squeak into the playoffs? I don't think it's going to happen just based on their coaching and the players and seeing what I've seen so far this season. And I think the Philadelphia Flyers deserve a your team is done award. So they'd have to go basically win two out of every three for the rest of the year and have the teams above. They're only four points out. Like, you look at four points and be like, oh, you make up four points in, like, three nights. They need goaltending, though. They need defense. They need yeah, sorry, uh, not... Yeah, Carter Hart's good, but, like, it's... It, that they, they're they a mess. And they, didn't they just... They just fired their coat. Like, it's a... Funny you say they need defense. They're currently 27th in the league in goals four. Oh! In goals four. In goals four. Goals scored. Oh. They're 27th. They're not even scoring. And that's one of those things that's hard to just be like, oh, we're good offensively now. Oh, I don't want to write off a team. But, I mean, Jesus, the Caps, the Penguins, the Rangers. Uh, is Carolina in that division? Mm-hmm. Oh, f- I don't know. Um, there's mm-hmm. the first one in a few episodes. Uh, and if anyone's going to make a comeback in that division, it's the Islanders. But they're so far back. Yeah. I'm going to say, uh, what are you nuts? You're done. Adam? Yeah, I, I think I think they're done. And I, I think it's just because sometimes it's not that they don't have the talent. They clearly do. I just sometimes you can't put it together. And I think they've had a messy year. I think they're, they're a mess. Can I see their division? Yeah, and they've yeah, been what? messy for a while, by the way. Oh, and Columbus is there, too. What do you, what do you oh, think? Oh man, that four ah oh, man. That four headed monster at the top of that division is staying there and not moving. That that gets me to the next team on the list. Ugh. The New York Islanders. I think it's about time we give the New York Islanders the Your Team is Done Award. I'm so fucking mad at them. And we say, pick it up next year, Lou. I'm so mad at them. The penguins f- are They're making me look bad at my projections. Penguins are fourth mm-hmm. in the Metro. Yeah, the Islanders are seventeen points back. Oh. They are currently eleven points out of the second wild card. Ooh, that's a long. Way. They'd have to go an equivalent of thirty-seven and nineteen to reach ninety-four points. Oh yeah, they're last in the division. They have fifty-seven goals for, which is 
the second worst in the so in the, far in the entire National Hockey 57 League. Fifty-seven overall. They have fifty-seven goals. That is thirty-first in the league. The Dreisaitl's New York Islanders like can't score. That. Yo, B- Barry Trotz is gonna. He can't. You can't defend your way out of fifty-seven goals. They're trying, and it's not working. They're tenth. In the league and safety. They're less than two goals a game. They're getting 9-13 goaltending. That's good. That's very good. They're getting 9-13 goaltending, and they're last in their division. They have 22 So here's here's what the Islanders need to do. They need to call Montreal and be like, what do you want for uh, Tyler Toffoli? What do you want for... Who's the other other guy that's struggling there that just signed? Hoffman. Hoffman's good for 30 goals on a normal year. Like, just bring somebody in who can support Barzal. And Bailey. I think you treat it as we're a good team, but this is a lost season. You cut the dead wood and you're done. But you, that, this is that's a team an that's award. invested almost nothing in their scoring and they've gotten away with it. Yeah. But now they're not getting away with it. Yeah, but also you try to chalk it up to, okay, this is an unusual season. Uh, we're going to be able to trade Chara for a gross package, something we do not deserve for him. We started 13 games on the road. And we come back next year, and we try to get stronger. Islanders fans, I think that's a consensus from the awards committee. And I want to congratulate the New York Islanders on making the 2022 playoffs. Shut up! Because, <laughs> no, this is man. their this no, is their man. superpower. Their NHL 22 X factor is people they have to doubting win 40 them. games. Yeah, this is people doubting them. Is it, they have to go 39 and 37 and 19 equivalent. No, no but by us <laughs> blessing them with they're done, they're now about to. Go on the hottest streak in the league. I mean, I'd love to see it, but mm-hmm. I don't see it it's, happening. They have to win. Well, you'd have to win out of every. Yeah, you'd, you'd have to win. The hole is too big, unfortunately. It's crazy. They could go on a run and oh, be really sh- good. The Islanders have acquired Andrew Hammond. <laughs> Stop it. It's just Shut a up. random. Their goaltending's already good. What's your vote? Vote is they're gone. Done. They're done. Okay. And I'm upset well, at them. You, I'm, pit, I'm so <laughs> mad at them. I'm so mad at them because that was my season project. I thought they were going to be great. Now, score some goals. Come on, guys. That was the last team on my list. Whoa. I am giving outside shots to San Jose, Columbus, Dallas, Vancouver. Yep. And the most controversial team on the list, the mm-hmm. Chicago Blackhawks. Really? That's just, that's the video games talking. To <laughs> yeah. That's the video games yeah. Talking. Would you guys put them on the list? No, uh, they've, they've been much better than they were at the beginning of the season. They also have uh, a Vezina Trophy winner. Who's Got his 500th been, game win recently. Been doing quite well. Are, are, do you guys disagree? I don't think Chicago's making the playoffs. I think they're done. Me neither, but that doesn't mean they're done. I won't, no, that, that's, that's literally what it means. No, I won't give you the Blackhawks. Okay. I'll give you the Blackhawks. Uh, Vancouver, I guess, is the other one that's up for debate. Nope. I don't think they're done. No. Nope. nope. Okay. I would, if, 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 if they still had Travis Green as a head coach, maybe. Yeah. Can't quantify magic. Yeah. <laughs> and Bruce Boudreaux just brought it, man. It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> that dude floated in with like pixie dust. And, and he was like, hey, um, you're a good shooter. Why don't you shoot? And they were like, well, okay. And then the problem's <laughs> off. It's, yeah. Just fucking like Emilio Estevez. Just, Ridiculous. Man. All, all the Vancouver Canucks walked up to Bruce Boudreaux. Coach, this morning I woke up. No pain at all. And just... Got it done. And they're doing it. Getting it done. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, we'll head over to Adam's history corner, but I'd okay. like to apologize to the fan base, fan bases of the Philadelphia Flyers, the New Jersey Devils, the Buffalo Sabres, the Seattle Kraken, the New York Islanders, the Ottawa Senators, yeah. the Montreal Canadiens, and the Arizona Coyotes. That's a long list of teams. And sorry, all of your teams are done for the year. You might as well cheer next year. <laughs> it won't make the playoffs. <laughs>